trip away to young boys, Gabby. Mm-hmm. Um, the Premier League side will then host Bayern Munich, Bologna, Juventus and Celtic at Villa Park. Yes. It's going to be massive. Um, firstly, how does it feel to be back in the Champions League knowing it's just around the corner for Villa? Do you know what? When the draw was made, I was lucky enough to do the show with um, Andy Goldstein, who's mm-hmm. Manchester United, are playing in some other competition. Don't know what's <laughs> good. Um, with Troy Deeney, who's sat here. Mm-hmm. I'll let him take this seat as well because I just wanted to look at them both and enjoy a Birmingham <laughs> City fan who... You know, they've already been knocked out of the <laughs> Mickey Mouse, Papa John's, Bristol Street Trophy, whatever they're in. Yeah. They've already been knocked out, I think, or they lost on penalties to Warsaw in the midweek. So for the city as well, though, Shaban, it's massive. You know, you, you're going to have some of the older generation that were there in 1982 when Aston Villa beat Bayern Munich and won the European Cup. And emotional for them as well for the first home game to be Bayern Munich, hmm. you know, who... At the moment, you'd say you've got a chance again yeah. against not the Bayern Munich of old, new players, new manager, new system, playing them early in the reign of um, Vincent Company. But just exciting overall for like my club to be in the Champions League. I mean, I'm sitting here watching the Champions League draw, and you know you've got legends like Ronaldo, Buffon, um, picking out Aston Villa's opponents. So exciting, but I'm sure the manager will be saying to the players, "Listen, enjoy it, but let's go and qualify." Be good enough. You've got a manager who knows what he's doing in Europe. Yeah. That's for sure with Unai Emery. But there's um, another story going mm. around this morning which seems to have clouded the happiness of getting into the Champions yeah. League. Uh, because online, there's a huge uproar. It's in some of the papers this morning. Villa branded a disgrace <laughs> for £97 at European tickets. Yeah. Um, yeah, the news that they would have to pay 97 quid to attend their side's first match in Europe in the competition for 41 years, the first time back in there. The cheapest adult tickets for their games against Bayern Munich, Bologna, Juventus and Celtic have been priced at £85 for non-season ticket holders. That's, that's a pricey one, isn't it, for, for a big yeah. celebration like that? I think if you look at the ticket prices as well, £97, some tickets, then 85 is the cheapest for an adult. I just don't think they've read the room. And what I do want to say, though, is that the Aston Villa hierarchy have been outstanding because... There was an idiot that was in charge before them. Um, they saved the club, come in, and there's been no problems. You know, they've pumped money into the club. They've made adjustments to the training ground. They've been good in the transfer window. It's a stable club, and there's not been many problems at all. But this is an own goal by um, whoever's made the decision, because what are you about your fans? Mm-hmm. These fans have been there when we've been in the championship, you know, 2017, playing home games, and... You're asking fans to come and support the team and then you get to the big time and the fans are getting hit. I get it, tickets have to go up. I get it, you're playing Champions League football, big, big games, but when you look at revenue and we're lucky enough to get Henry Winter on um, later on in the, um, I think just before 8 a.m., yeah. but what you could have done is put sponsorships up, other ways to make money, and what you're putting up in the ticket prices is not going to be a big amount towards PSR. You know, I was speaking to Henry last night and players' wages go towards PSR. Mm-hmm. So we know players' wages are going up. I get that. They deserve to, to earn what they're earning. They're really good players. But if you're putting players' wages up over a hundred grand a week and then your average fan who's earning between, I don't know, 25000 35000 pounds a year, they're getting the hit on the tickets going up. It doesn't really make sense. It's a bit of an own goal, Baston Villa. And they've got till the start of October before the first home game to make adjustments. And um, I've got a few ideas how they can do that. But without your fans, you know, what are you? You want to keep your fans happy. And they will make their feelings known in the next home game. That's the thing. It's so easy to focus on the negatives in these situations. Mm -hmm. But you're right. It's a bad look from the club. And I'm surprised it's happened from Aston Villa. And... Everybody else probably at the club got a Champions League bonus when they made it into the Champions League. Exactly. And then the fans, you know, make up the rest well, of the difference. I, I mean, think the problem as well, Shaban, is the problem is is that like life is tough out there for everyone. You of know, you you've got gas bills going up again. Mm-hmm. You know, you've got different um things happening with the new government that might affect people in more financial problems as well. So if you've got a budget, like we all live to budgets, don't we? If you've got a budget as a family, some families are looking at this and saying, like, I've got two boys, two girls, want to take them all to a game. I can't. It's going to cost me 500 quid. So the Bayern Munich goes, I, I can't do it. That's probably like two months' budget of spare money they've got available. So Aston Villa have to listen to the fans, and I hope they do, and they've got time to change this because 
I mean, you'll you'll see on your sheet there, Shaban, you can read out what other clubs are um, charging. Well, well Manchester ridiculous. City, for example, we've won it. The most well. expensive ticket you can get there then sixty seven pounds, mm-hmm. ranging between thirty seven and sixty seven. Liverpool nine pound, ranging between yep. nine pound and sixty one. Newcastle thirty to fifty five quid. Arsenal would be the more expensive one. <coughs> Excuse me, with the London prices in there as well, seventy four pounds to one hundred and forty one pounds, but ninety seven pounds for an Aston Villa ticket in the Champions League goes down to 85 quid for the first time back in this competition in 41 years mm. feels like a bit of a blow also, for some of the fans also Shaban you know Aston Villa fans a lot of them live in Birmingham unlike some other clubs fan bases that you know Manchester to London we won't name any names Manchester United fans some of them but would you stop <laughs> Aston, Villa, Aston Villa fans live in Birmingham they pay, get paid Birmingham wages exactly. they don't get paid London mm-hmm, wages mm-hmm. you know Arsenal's are £141 to £74 Arsenal could probably pay that because the London prices for what people earn in London but your average um, Villa fan that works in Birmingham what they earn it's too expensive Aye. it's really too much they're a wee bit miles off yep. it with this one like you say Henry Winter's going to be with us on the show later on but Villa fans waking up this morning you can let us know your thoughts on this do you want the club to make these changes has it spoiled things ever so slightly have you waited this long to get a Champions League game at Villa Park and you simply cannot afford it we're here to chat to you this morning 03717 if you want to give us a call Talk Sport Breakfast waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport